the 49ers are in absolute free fall after this loss. You know, this is one of those losses that is so heartbreaking that it could ruin it could ruin a team as constructed. I mean, the Niners were up 10. They had the ball up 10-3 after getting an interception at around midfield. You know, you just look at this game and you go, they should have won it, and they, they let it slip away. After the game, uh, basically, 49ers O-lineman John Feliciano blamed his teammate Spencer Burford for a crucial block that was missed. He was responding on Twitter to a, a post about... Now, he never mentions the guy's name. Okay, so that is to be clear, but there is a back and forth between the two, and we'll read it here. So Feliciano, this is what he responds to a video of, you know, one of the final plays where Purdy, the the play was the one where Purdy basically is immediately tackled, and people said this could have been the one that they won on, right? Chris Jones comes loose, and so this forced San Francisco to settle for a field goal. So. What ends up happening is Feliciano responds to this video and it says, a quick chop is not needed if the guy that was supposed to block him blocks him. So what he's saying is he's being criticized. He's saying, no, 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 a quick chop wouldn't have been needed if the guy that was supposed to block him blocked him. So then Spencer Burford comes out of nowhere and goes, sheesh, I open up my app to this. Get well soon, bro. Feliciano says, I'm sorry, bro. I woke up hungover and being a bitch and trying to have one's back. I hurt you. It's effed up. And I apologize. You got nothing but greatness ahead of you. I'm sorry, bro. Now, obviously, I'm sure they'll work this out and they'll talk about it. But to be honest with you, this cannot be something that happens to a team like we're seeing right now when they lose in these big games. Because the 49ers, and we've talked about this many times, the 49ers window seems like it could go on forever, right? You look at the roster, you look at the talent, and you say, hey, man, this team could, you know, any, you know, they're going to get back. There's no question. That NFL history does not show that to be the case, right? NFL history shows us that Windows can close far quicker than you think. Take a look at this Bills team. Take a look at this Bill. Everybody, you know, and I know they're still good, but this Bills team went from two years ago, starting the first week of the season, this Bills team was viewed as, hey, they're the team to beat in this NFL. They're the team to beat. Two, now where are they? Right? They're a team while they're contenders, but they still maybe need more pieces and the cheap. This is how quickly your window can close. And the Niners, they've their the problem with them is their window has been extended for quite some time. They their window has been open for years. And you see how unlucky a team can be and how and that could be the reason your window closed, right? Last year, that could have been their year to win the Super Bowl. But what happened? Brock Purdy got hurt. That's not on anybody. They had three quarterbacks go down that year. So this is the stuff that you have to be careful with. And so when you see something like this, right, you see, um, you know, two guys basically blaming each other, or I guess it's not two guys. It's one guy saying something then realizing, well, I was an idiot. That's a problem, right? When you see Brandon Ayuk kind of, even though he's under contract, kind of hinting at, I don't know if I'm going to be back. I don't know, you know, I don't know if I want to be back. You, You have his friends and his girlfriend, all these people talking about, you know, this might be our last time with this the organization. This is a team that's coming apart at the seams, and they got to get this thing back together because otherwise this the, the window is going to be closed, right? You can't have this infighting after a loss. It has to be, and I, under, I can only imagine how tough it is on these guys to play all year as well as they did, to even play as well as they did for large portions of the Super Bowl, and to lose, that has to just be crushing. Right, it just has to be absolutely crushing. So we'll see what happens. Thank you all for watching. Uh, Let us know what you think. Is this a big deal? Is this a small deal? Uh, Give us your thoughts, and we'll see you next time.